Theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Uh, where have you been? It looks like it's the holes for the lift hydraulics. Oh my. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. No power. God damn it! Why is it never that easy? Why? Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Ah, uh, so the plot thickens. And we search some more. More? Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Let's go check in the office. Locked. No way in. Hmm. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. I can't reach it up there. God damn it. So where do we go from here? Talk to her? Get the pickaxe maybe? Something you need? What do you think happened to Croft? No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. I have a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Gotta say I kinda like Molly. <laughs> What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? I don't know. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Okay, okay. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Thank you, Ken. I promise now. Not a scratch. Alrighty. Did it. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Take the goddamn battery. That one off. Come on. It's off. <clears throat> Booyah. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Okay, okay, I'm moving my ass. Fuck your couch. Shoot it out! Well, we can't make any more noise than we already have. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Dang, girl. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Well, you kinda... What did you call me? Well, 
now that you mention it. <laughs> Oh shit! I totally wasn't paying attention. I did not know that I would have had to click to grab her head. Holy fuck. Okay. okay so now we're on the roof. Pay attention. You Pay ever attention. stop complaining? Come on. That's one of the things I like about this game. You start getting caught up in the story and not paying attention and shit like that happens. And we were doing on, so well. Chicken jump. What did you call me? What did you call me? Well, now that you mentioned Mention it. it, I am kind of chicken. Yes. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, what? you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Are Molly. you fucking kidding me Damn right what now? What the hell is she doing? Oh, uh, why do things never go the way they're supposed to go? <laughs> Let's go hunting for the combination since Molly decided to go and take the fucking battery with her. Whoa. Oh. For a second there I thought they were like... You zombies. guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I... I was just asking if you needed some help, but okay. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Well, it's not like I got shit else to do at this point. Let's go see if they made it into the armory. Little help! Little Whoa. help here! Q! Q! Motherfucking Q! Fuck! The doors won't close all the way! Problem solved. Break the door with something. Uh, somebody's calling me at a really bad time right now. Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, guys, sorry about that random ass phone call. Anyways, back to what we we're doing. Damn well better. There's so many of them. Got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She would better be. Alright. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Let's talk to her. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been in treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, and I thought there might be some hope, all of this happened. I lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Wow. Funny how things work out. It's kind of fucked up. How long have you known Bert? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? 
I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. Oh. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cool. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd feel the same. Wow. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Hopscotch. Creepy. Very creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. But what has she done for me lately? Damn. Alright, let's see if we can go back outside and help. You okay, Clem? You okay, Clem? This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Yeah. So do it's I. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey. I'm not that old. <laughs> I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. I hope She'll so too. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I think.